Thanks, dog. Also in the news this week is the utterly fantastic announcement of the discovery of a woolly mammoth baby in Yukon, Canada. This is the best preserved woolly mammoth mummy ever found in North America, and seems to have become frozen in permafrost about 30,000 years ago, being found when miners working on a creek in the Klondike gold fields uncovered the body. Elders of the Tsotsodok Hewajin First Nation have named this mammoth Nanchoga, which means big baby animal. And thanks to collaboration between the First Nation, the miners, and the Yukon government, it's hoped that paleontologists will be able to study this stunning new specimen to learn more about the life of this animal. Also in the Paleo News is a study reporting on the earliest Gorgonopsians known from Africa, and potentially the world. Looking at fossils found in the Karoo supergroup of South Africa, three specimens are described that represent the earliest good record of these animals from anywhere in the world, and two of the specimens are found to belong to a new genus and species, named Phorcus dubii. These animals all come from the Middle Permian, a time when Gorgonopsians were relatively rare, as they only came to dominate terrestrial ecosystems in the Late Permian. Interestingly, all of these fossils are actually a lot bigger than previously known specimens of Mid-Permian Gorgonopsians, indicating that the exact way that Gorgonopsians competed with and replaced other Theracophalian therapsids in the Mid and Late Permian is more complicated than we'd appreciated. Back to Doug in the studio. 